The Pollyanna principle states that most people tend to edit out negative statements uh, made about themselves from other people and uh, put extra weight on positive statements made about them by other people. I, I understand that and I agree with it to a certain extent. Um, and um, I think that we all do that. Uh, it's just part of who we are apparently as human beings to be egocentric and to assume that um, we're better than other people or that we have a better life than others or we have a more quality filled life than others. I understand that and I understand that that is one of the pratfalls of attempting to gauge one's own quality of life, at least one's comparative quality of life, um, and it, one's comparative anything. A lot of people think that they are more intelligent than other people. We don't know. We can't gauge in others, someone else's intelligence. We can't get into their heads. Other people tend to think that they have bigger problems than everyone else. We don't know because we don't understand what, someone's, what value someone puts on their own problems. Uh, somebody might think that um, not winning a gold medal in the Olympics is the biggest disaster that, that could possibly befall them, while other people think that um, uh, winning a couple of uh, bleacher seats at the Olympics um, is the, uh, the high point of their life, uh, just to sit there as spectators. So again, we, don't, we, we can't really value these things dispassionately or comparatively, I suppose is the word. I don't know what value you place on your disasters and triumphs, and you don't know what value I place on my disasters and triumphs. The problem with Benatar is he goes the other direction. Um, he looks at the Pollyanna principle. He says that most people have a, um, an unrealistic view of themselves, and he says because most people are positive, or this is what I get from what he says, then the negative is probably um, more likely to be true. And I'm not saying that he's, that he's, uh, that he's doing this deliberately, uh, but I am going to say that I think that he goes too far the other way. Um, the opposite of bias is not the opposite type of bias. The opposite of bias is balance. And again, I quote, the quality of even the best lives is very bad and considerably worse than most people recognize it to be. I can understand the second statement um, considerably worse than most people recognize it to be, at least in terms of the fact that people tend to have a more positive view of themselves than others have about, uh, about themselves. But the quality of most lives is very bad. That is a positive and categorical statement, which is pretty much the opposite of the Pollyanna principle. It's just as crazy to say something like that as, it's, as it is um, to put absolute weight on the idea that we do have a better or worse life than everybody else, or that we are more intelligent than everyone else is. Um, the reason why I say that is, again, we can't compare these things. <clears throat> Benatar himself is, I would say, guilty of the um, Anapoli uh, principle which is the opposite of the Pollyanna principle. Um, instead of just saying that most people don't have a balanced view of themselves in terms of their view of themselves versus other people's view of themselves, he seems to say that most people's view of themselves is wrong and um, they are uh, worse than they think they are. And by some weird inference, he says that most people's view of themselves is worse than what other people um, or rather, other people have a more negative view of themselves. Of, of uh, most people have a more uh, positive view of themselves than other people do. Therefore, most people actually have bad lives as opposed to good lives, which is what they think that they have. Again, the uh, the Pollyanna principle is valid, but you don't um, you don't counteract it though by going for, as I say, what I call the Anapoly uh, principle, um, just arguing the exact opposite. We tend to actually fall into that trap, um, as opposed to uh, as opposed to trying to keep a balanced view of things. I understand that. Um, one could say that I'm falling into exactly the same trap as well in my critique of Benatarism. Um, but it is something that we have to bear in mind. And when I'm critiquing Benatar, I'm not saying that I'm not just as guilty of this as he is. I just want to point that out. I'm aware of my biases. I wonder if he is. Thank you.